Does she live in the apartment? Miracle Poor Miracle finna get whipped. <laughs> Sandwich just isn't a sandwich without the tangy zip of Miracle Whips. <laughs> that ain't even funny, okay? Stop. I'm all about the Benjamins, ain't I? Ain't about nothing if you can't buy. To be around me, a nigga gotta have a great mind. I ain't nothing like it, bitches, I'm a G. Real niggas back and style like when they crack it. I'm back. I found another video, so as y'all see by the title, this mom. Take my phone off, do not disturb. It says good or bad parenting. Mom whips her daughter with a belt on Instagram Live for being the neighborhood jump off. Huh? When I hear jump off coming from somebody from Northern California, I'm automatically thinking a fighter. I don't know what jump off means. <laughs> Y'all let me know down below what that means, but I'm automatically thinking that's a fighter. I'm not sure. We finna see. Oh, so America wanna be a who? I guess that's what that means right there. <laughs> Uh, uh, jump off, that's what y'all call that? That's crazy. This miracle wanna be a hub, so she in the she in the jets with it. She one of them big bitches that's in the, in the jets. Is that where we going with this? Does she live in the apartment? Miracle wanna be a hoe. We're gonna record this and put it on her. Poor poor miracle finna get whipped. <laughs> Funny, okay, stop it there. Stop it there, Taylor. Stop it there. Miracle finna get whipped. So that is crazy. And why the mom look like she got half a head of hair? Reverse bowl cut. We're gonna record this and put it on her Instagram. Oh, she and her mama whipping ass. Yeah. <laughs> Miracle wanna be a hoe. We're gonna record this and put it on her Instagram. Oh, I'm about to blur that out. <laughs> what did she say? I'm talking too much. Parents that really sit there and make their child do stuff in order to get them away from you. You know, I heard somebody say their parents used to get stuff off the tree and like they actually be knowing the process. The kids, like they that traumatized that they know the process where they can like layer up before they get their ass whipped and stuff. I never thought of that. You know, layer up where like their parents will trick them and make them get in the shower and then right after they get out the shower they get their ass whipped like. It's abuse. I need to be a jail for that shit. Like, huh? What do they make them? Some make them moisturize with like oil and stuff, Vaseline or something, before they get their ass to make it hurt more. Like, what made them think of that in their head? Did they parents do that to them? And the fact that she's sitting here making her turn around, and lay down, so she can whip them. Like me personally, I don't know what it is with me, but I just. I don't like seeing people hurt, so I can never see myself doing that. Like physically seeing myself make somebody turn around so I can beat their ass, like I can't see myself doing that. Even when I see my nephews or something get whipped, I be feeling so bad for them. Like I don't like seeing people get hurt like that. That's like some like watch somebody fight and stuff. I don't like that. Probably when I was little, I was younger, I would see nothing wrong with it. Even when I was an adult. I don't want to see nobody in the ass with brothers in a fight by parents anything. I feel bad like even when I'm watching boxing matches like so whenever somebody get knocked out I feel oh so bad. She know damn what I should have heard that at. <laughs> <laughs> she doing too much but why she make see how she make her repeat herself while she with her? Her ass is crazy. We're gonna record this and put it on her Instagram. Come on. I will not be a hoe. Come on. 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 That's how he was. I was. That is crazy. How old are these kids? I guess it depends on like the environment. Cause I think by 13 or so. Probably if I went to Valley, I probably wouldn't know what all that was. But property areas. But my mom really doesn't. And want to send videos of her playing with herself to people. Come on. I will not be a hoe. Come on. Come on. I will not be a hoe. Come on. Come 
you're gonna fix nothing. That's what I don't see when it comes to stuff like that, cause hoes are born hoes. Like they don't, huh? If it's in her, it's in her. She gonna be doing that shit all her, her whole life. What exactly she thinks she's gonna fix with that, I don't know, but hoes are born hoes, most definitely. It's in their blood. You don't just randomly turn into a hoe. You do hoe shit, you do hoe shit. Me, I ain't never did no hoe shit in my life. But some girls I be around, okay. They be out there. <laughs> it's in you. You feel me? They're born hoes, like. Ain't nothing changed them to make them do that, like that's in them. They ain't never gonna stop being a hoe, that's them. Just like gay people are born gay, they're gay. They're, that's LGBT. <laughs> you feel me? They're born like that. You whooping their ass is not changing that. They gonna do that forever. My cousin used to get in trouble for doing stuff like that or talking to grown ass men. She still do it to this day. Like I said, she used to get her phone taken away, her ass whoop. She's still the same person. That's her. And it's not about them being raised like that. That's just them. I understand them not wanting to do that as a young age, but that's the cars they was dealt. <laughs> that's their mindset. But y'all, I'm gonna get off that topic in front of a different video because there really ain't much to it. Like, you whooping their ass is not changing anything. A lot of parents don't seem to realize you beating on them. Half the time, you're not even explaining to them what they're beating on them for. You just automatically hit them. They think they, they want to learn something. Like, what are they learning from? Well, they don't even know what they're getting whooped for. You think I have something that's gonna make them stop doing that? It ain't like they just. You feel me? Like, my nephew just hit the other day, grab a handful of pallet sugar and walk away. He ain't get whooped for it, of course, but. He told him no, and he can't do that. That's how you learn from things, but hitting them is like, they confused, like, what am I being hit for? Talk to them and tell them how, why, what they're doing is wrong, then they might get an understanding and might change a little bit. You feel me? At least a little bit, because they, they hoes, they hoes. They might wait till they get older to continue, but they're gonna forever be that. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video. Got a blast! Everybody, I have fun. I gotta be good. <laughs> 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 nah, I forgot. PM, dot dot, I'm out. This they, they bitch. Told me to be good <laughs> bitch. Keep it real. Keep it real. Fuck that hoe. Keep it a hundred mil. Big house on the hill. Rich nigga, keep that body on me still. Free.